Well, after two weeks, even virtual learning schools such as California Virtual Academies are having their challenges this year. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido joining us live with more on how they're feeling the change. Daniela. That's right. Good morning. Well, before school districts went toward distance learning, there were virtual schools like California Virtual Academies, and they say right now they're feeling the pressure. They've had to cap enrollment and add more teaching staff. Of every grade level's experienced an increase in enrollment, especially our elementary grades, TK through five. California Virtual Academies is now on the 19th year of instruction and say this is the first year they've had to cap enrollment due to high demand. So the curriculum itself is designed that way. It's very, um, I think scripted is a good way to put that. There's a lot of specific directions for our learning coaches. So when a kindergarten student comes in, the learning coach has a page that says, okay, today, here's what you need to do. And then here are the lives sessions your student can go to. Here's how you get access to a teacher for help. The academy has over 1,000 Kern County students enrolled in the virtual school this year. And according to the director of the high school for California Virtual Academies, parents like knowing what their kids will learn every day, as well as how much time they need to allocate for live instruction. But, you know, it's great to know what's coming. It's great to see this daily plan. Parents really like having the oversight into the different, uh, different layers of a student's learning so they can see, okay, my student has class connects to attend today. The academy says many Many parents made the initial switch in March after their first experience with brick and mortar distance learning. Really districts doing the very best that they could in short notice and guess what schools closed and so um, the emergency learning wasn't working well for their students and they were looking for something with more structure and so when the governor announced that you have to be off the watch list for so many days to be able to go back to school um, I think a lot of families at that point said you know what we need to be somewhere stable. One of the kindergarten teachers says one of the benefits of virtual learning that is different from distance learning is a flexibility. To give you an idea of what it looks like for families, they have access to the online school from you know, midnight to midnight. So if you have your early risers that are up at 4.30 every morning and they wanna get on and get their lessons done and then take on their live class sessions and then from there, they're done. And then we have others that, you know, they drag themselves out of bed at 8.45 to get into that 9 o'clock session. They do their stuff afterwards, and then they have their evenings free. And even though they've always been virtual, things have changed this year for them, too. Because at least last year, we could still do our in-person. So we still had park days. We still had in-person assessments. We still had um, times that we were able to get together and do, like, ice cream socials. Now, California Virtual Academies is not accepting any more students for this year, but they say soon they're going to open up enrollment for next year for any parents that are interested in virtual learning. They also say they're looking to add teachers, so we'll have those links on our website, turn to 23com For now, we're live in Bakersfield. I'm Danielle Grito, 23ABC News, connecting you.